I think it looks very thick and like fake, but it still looks good. What is up everyone? This is Rosario here and welcome to or back to my channel. <laughs> Okay, so before we get into this video, I just want to start off by saying I did not give this wig enough credit. First off, this was my first wig install. I don't know what I was doing when I was filming this video, but I didn't even say that. Second off, for it being a synthetic wig, it actually did look of like decent quality. It felt good and it wasn't irritating at all. And it looked good and it held nicely on my head. So yeah, I gave this way little credit. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on with the video. Don't mind my voice. This always happens to me. Every single time I eat a whole bunch of sugar, my voice becomes weird, off. I lose my voice. It's so annoying. But um, for today's video, I'm going to be trying a wig for the first time ever. I have no clue what I'm doing. So I searched on YouTube because YouTube has a whole bunch of how-tos and helpful videos. So I searched this video by, um, or I found this video by Simone Cherise. And basically it's like do's and don'ts and like, first install and stuff like that just to help you out for my wig i got it from amazon i got everything that i'm going to be using today pretty much from amazon it was just like a synthetic one i just wanted to try it out so a couple of these packages i haven't opened yet like this one from amazon it's um i believe it's uh got to be yeah so i just got these two little minis this is got to be glue. Oh, got to be ultra glued and vine eyeball styling gel. Both of these are 1.1 1. 1, 1. 1.2 ounces. Uh, I think. I don't know. They're so little. Come on. <laughs> this is the wig. <laughs> Why it look like a dead rodent? Um, I have it inside this thing, but it looks like this. It's like um, it's curly. I think. I wanted something like natural, but they were like $60 and my bank account was not that cool back then. This, so yeah, just like this. It has um, a little lace in the front and it just has a part down the middle. Did I even open this? What is this? All these packages up in my room, like it's crazy. I, don't even, <laughs> I haven't even opened most of them. I ordered some wig caps. This is like, I think it's three or six. For the styling process, I'm gonna be using scissors. I don't remember what this, this thing is called. Is it like a little razor, I think? Tweezers, an edge brush or toothbrush, whichever you have. And last thing is a blow dryer. So let's go ahead and get started. This is not in any way, shape or form a tutorial. I do not know what I'm doing. I just wanna try it out because yeah, I'm bored and I want this video to be out. So the first thing that Simone Charisse did in her video was she plucked the wig and this wig does look I don't know. I hope if I pluck it, it don't come out like the track that they used to sew it or however they made it don't come out. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. It has the little lace right there. And it's dark and it has these um thingies on it. I wish these things were in the middle of the wig, not in the front. Because I don't want to pull it on my edges. One thing that I do know about wigs and plucking wigs and stuff like that is don't make the middle part too big. Don't make your part too wide at all because that's going to make it look fake. So if you're like ever plucking, cutting, whatever you're doing, do not make the part too wide because it's going to look fake. It's going to look like you got a patch in the middle of your head. These tweezers are so cute. Since it is a synthetic wig and there's not lace around the whole wig, there's not much that you have to pluck because um, it's not like you're making the lace more see-through more real so that you can see the scalp it's like there's not really scalp in this like the, the tracks are dark so you can't really see scalp so it's kind of pointless to plug the whole thing i just plugged a tiny bit of it just to make sure that um there's some spacing i plucked out like this much hair like there's barely anything i went ahead and i put my hair in cornrows before this video so i'm just gonna braid up the back of them just to the side It's just one little braid. I'll show y'all what it looks like in the back. Don't mind my parts. I just braided my corner with my hair for this video, but I tried to make the front parts look as good as I could because in case I wanted to take the wig off. 
Now I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm just going to pin that to my head. Should I do it in the back? I'm just gonna pin it up here. So oh, actually I'm not even gonna put a wig cap on because I just don't feel like it. And so next thing I'm gonna do is take this styling gel and I'm gonna use that as the glue and I'm just gonna apply that to my forehead. Now it is summer and I do not want my wig all up on my forehead giving me tan lines. So I'm just gonna put it like right next to my scalp. I did that wrong. Anyways, let's disregard what I just did. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to throw the wig on. Okay, I'm not even gonna talk anymore because it's, com it's complicated, but I just wanted to let y'all know this. Um, I wish it was like a frontal, but it just has this one little piece right here. So it's gonna be kind of difficult. Okay, so it is glued on. It feels pretty on there, okay? So looking at it, it does look weird to tell. It's definitely synthetic. But I wanna make it look a little bit more natural. So what I wanna do is I wanna make the part a little bit deeper onto the scalp. Uh, because I don't like how um, up front it is. Right, now to actually start prepping the wig, we're gonna start by cutting off the lace. So. Looks pretty decent, it's on there pretty good. It definitely needs more glue on the edges, but I'm really being lazy. All right, guys, so now the wig is totally glued on. There's hair everywhere. All right, it feels pretty secure on there, except for the sides. They feel pretty loose, but that's because, like, they're not tailored to my um ear shape, so they're kind of just sitting, like, on my ears, but my ears feel, like, okay. They're not irritated or anything. If they do, I'll cut that piece off. I don't really know how, like, but, yeah, anyways, it looks pretty nice, except there's hair and the glue. I'm gonna have to remove the excess glue because I accidentally put it too high. But yeah, right now it looks pretty good to me. Like this side is definitely up higher. <laughs> but my natural forehead is shaped funny, so it's fine. Anyways, let's make it start making it look more real. The dang razor just broke. I was getting. All right, I'm gonna try the best. I mean, my best to do these edges. I don't really know what I'm doing or how I'm gonna do it, but yeah, I'm gonna just try my best. Okay, so we're really coming together now. I got the edges. Uh, edges. I don't know what to call these bangs. They look a hot mess. Alright. So I know I keep moving around. I keep moving the camera around. But we're pretty much done here. But I've seen this hack on um, Facebook. And so basically, you know how the synthetic wig looks very shiny? So, I'll be right back. Ooh, so what you do is you take some baby powder and put it on your hand a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the wig. And it'll help like dull it out so that it's not so shiny. So here's my opinion right now 
on this wig. I think it looks very good. And I do wish it had a frontal lace. I also wish it didn't have a natural part. I wish, I really do wish the whole thing was lace wig. But like I said, this is just my first wig. I'm probably gonna buy more and wear them through our junior year. Because um, through our junior year, I just want to focus on hair growth and health and protection. So I'm gonna be wearing a lot of protective hairstyles. Alrighty you guys, so this is what the wig is looking like all cleaned up now. I don't know what that is. Um, The part is a bit too bright, so I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on it. And I'm also going to put a little bit of makeup on it and also clean up my face a little bit. So um, I'll see you guys after I'm done with the finished look. Alright you guys, so I know I said I was going to come back. Oops. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna come back with my with some makeup on and everything like that, but um, I before I do my makeup, I just wanted to come back and remove the glue that's on my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like it's all over. I honestly need to redo these edges because they do not look the best, but I don't feel like it. I think they look decent enough, like no better than the way I be doing my real edges for real. I took some 70% isopropyl alcohol, it's an antiseptic, 100% um, alcohol is probably better, um, but it does work to remove glue. Especially, let me take my AirPods out. I do have a lot of glue on the side of my face, can y'all see that? But yeah, this is what the wig looks like. The next time y'all see an install for me, it will be a better wig. Because I feel like this it is a synthetic wig. Like, it's not going to look the absolute best. But it definitely doesn't look the absolute worst. I think it looks pretty good. Really, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Filming this video, I just I just got back home. Um, It's been three hours. <laughs> I just got back home from work. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all. I had a work meeting that I had to go to. And... I was about to go babysit, but um, that got canceled. So here I am now back filming with y'all, it's good. Overall, I think it looks really good right now. Like y'all, y'all can't tell me different. You cannot tell me it looks bad. I think it looks very thick and like fake, but it still looks good, I feel. But I'm gonna actually do my makeup now and I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm done. All right, you guys, so this is- Why you sad? Well, you can be glad. All right, you guys, so this is the finished wig. I decided not to do a hairstyle or anything like that because I just wanted y'all to see the full look of the wig. I don't know, the sun is like going down. So it's like, it keeps shifting over here. So I'm trying to stay in it. My next video will be all about this makeup look. So um, if you guys want to see that, wait and see. Subscribe if you haven't yet. But anyways, that'll be all for today's video. Be true, be you, go ahead with your best self. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like to see anything else like this from me. Bye everybody. Peace and love.